Welcome to this week's How To Tuesday. Okay, so I'm playing with some familiar, some regular, and a little bit of new stuff today. I have been wanting, well, these are my Carbothil chalk pastel pencils. These will definitely come into play. And um, what started this is that I have been wanting to do um, like water soluble stuff. Like, I, well, here, let me start. These are, first of all, these are my little pouches. This is my artwork on this pouch. I get them, uh, and you can too, from Society6. They do, they're super sturdy. They're, they can come in three different sizes. That's the large size. And I'm keeping my um, Tombow markers in here. Um, I thought I'd show these because I can't have enough pouches. And I'm pretty sure that there are people out there in the world that feel the same way that I do. Keep all your stuff in different pouches. It's just, it's so much fun. The same on both sides. Like I said, they come in different colors. And I have pretty much every piece of artwork I've ever made as an option on Society6. Anywho. So I want, I've been wanting to for a while um, use toned paper with my Tombows. Now I know that they work really well on white, but I wanted, I was kind of like, I was tentative because it's on toned paper and I didn't want the pigment to, and some of it might, but I didn't want the pigment to disappear or get a little muted because there's already a color to the paper, the surface that I'm working on. But um, we're gonna try, we're gonna see, we're gonna play. Okay, so I have my Tombows, which are water, um, soluble, water-based, blendable, they're water-based, blendable, and then I have my acrylic marker, paint marker, Liquitex acrylic paint markers. I grab them just in case, no guarantee that I'm going to use them. These are fabulous because they have big juicy tips on them, and I love them. They're so beefy and glorious, and then this one is a black in the chisel tip, so which is cool. I kind of, these are different than the Uni Posca paint pens because the tip has a chisel to them. The smaller versions, the tip is just like a foam round tip, which is fine, but I like that. The, and this one's a little sturdier too, the Liquitex paint pen. And then I have my Uniposca paint pens, and these are gloriously and beefy. Look at those tips. And now this, these two right here, these two right here get a lot of play, especially this one because it's fluorescent pink. This one is just pink but this one's fluorescent pink, and I'm obsessed with pink, so it's funny. I only wear black, but I love to work in pink. And then look at that big, beefy black tip, Posca, Una Posca paint pen. So I may or may not use them. As you can tell, I have a color that I love, color scheme that I love to go to. The fluorescents are big for me right now. These are also my solid markers, my solid paint markers. These can be painted on all kinds of surfaces that are um, non-porous, for, and then you can heat them up and they like bake them basically and then they don't move but I use them in my artwork and they're like they kind of if you are familiar with the marabou crayon like marabou um, art crayon they're very much like that but so they they go on and if you're not they're like a, they feel like a lipstick they're very creamy but then they dry within a couple minutes they dry and they don't move so I like to use them for mark making and they're really they're bold their colors are like true to the color that are here so I also grabbed my um, Stabilo All and my Stabilo Woody in black. Grabbed my black and white General's charcoal charcoal pencils, and then I have a couple water brushes to help me push around the water soluble um, Tombow dual brush pens. And the addition in my 100 Days of Abstract course, we made our own stamps out of foam which was super fun because you can, the sky is literally the limit. You can do anything you want and turn it into a foam, any idea, and you can make it into a foam stamp or a stamp. And so you have homemade stamps. So I was testing, you can see there's a little bit of pink. I was testing the Tombow on it and I didn't want to show you what I did, but I loved it because I didn't want to surprise, su surprise. I didn't want to ruin the surprise. So um, you guys will see this. So I'm going to do, I'm going to create a background and then I'm going to put a portrait on top. Okay, and we're gonna use these guys too, like I said. My Capil, Capil okay. <laughs> my Stabilo Carbothello chalk pastel pencils. Okay, so, let's move this to the side. And this is the paper. It is 184 pound tone gray mixed media paper by Strathmore. And I've taped it down to my board. Oh, and I also grabbed this so that I could potentially activate some stuff while I'm working. Okay. 
All right, so if you like what you're seeing, you're enjoying the How To Tuesdays, please like and subscribe and click that bell so you get the personal notifications. Also, I would love for you to come check out my Patreon channel. Um, we're having lots of fun over there. I'd be honored if you take a peek and see what it is that I'm offering my patrons. And finally, uh, well, I don't know if, but Patreon, Patreon uh, you guys, I get to continue doing what I love to do. I get to continue doing the How To Tuesdays with your help. Um, uh, it's a pledge-based platform, so um, with your help, I can continue to do these. If you are a patron, you do get the real-time version of um, the How To Tuesdays. So it's, it, if you ask me, it's super worth it because it's li for little to nothing. You get full lessons every week, at least guaranteed once a week you'll get a full lesson. So I, I think it's totally worth it. Um, anyways, also I want to invite you to join us over at my Facebook group, on my Facebook group, uh, Next Generation Art. We have four weekly challenges or four prompt slash challenges and um you may or may not do them it's totally up to you but it's a community of like-minded brilliantly gifted kind loving souls and i would love for you to come check us out and join us all of the information for patreon and for my next generation uh, art group will be in the description box as well as the supplies okay you guys thank you so much let's get started